In this video, we will review another new feature found in the Edit button of Song Surgeon version 4. It's the last one down here at the bottom of the menu, and it's Sample Rate or Frequency Conversions. And let's talk a little bit about that before we demonstrate it. If you go to the top of Song Surgeon after you've opened a file, you will see a number of file characteristics. From left to right, you'll see the name of the file, you'll see the KBPS rate, which is a bit rate, which is another way of looking at quality. You'll see a hertz rate here, which is the frequency rate or the sample rate. You'll see a bit depth here. You'll see mono or stereo, and of course, you'll see the size of the file. When we talk about sample rate conversion, we are talking about this number here, this hertz number, this frequency number. And what the frequency rate is, really, it's the number of pieces of data per unit of time. In this case, we're talking about a second. So 44,1, 44,100 tells us that there's 44,100 pieces of audio data or samples of audio data in one second. And this, by the way, is the standard CD, the standard digital uh, frequency rate found in most files. Why would we want to do frequency conversion? Well, there are several reasons for it. The main reason is that oftentimes if you're dealing with audio data that doesn't have the same frequency, you're limited in terms of what you're able to do with it because the sample rates are different. And converting it will allow you to make the sample rates the same and thereby allowing you to work with those two pieces of data. If you're interested in learning about the different types of frequencies and where they might be used, I'd suggest you do a search on Google. Wiki has a nice page that I'm looking at here, which it shows you sampling rates of 8,000 on up into the hundreds of thousands. Just to give you a feel for this, 8,000 is commonly used in telephones. We said already that 44.1 is the standard frequency rate for audio CDs. And um, the standard audio sampling rate used by professional digital equipment, for instance, high-end recording equipment, is often 48,000. And then we get up to 96,000, which is the audio frequency, which is the audio frequency rate that you sometimes find in DVD audio. So in this case, we have a frequency of 44.1. If we go to edit, go to change the sample rate, we can select anything from um, 11,000 all the way up to 96,000. So let's go ahead and select 11,025 and just convert this file. And we've converted it. Now you can see up here it reads 11,025. I don't know whether you saw a shift or a change in the plotted data on the screen when we did that because it happens pretty quickly, but remember we're going down from 44.1 down to 11,025. So, so in other words, we've reduced the number of data points by three-fourths here. And let me just undo and redo this, and you watch this, and I think you can see how the wave data shifts. So there's what we had before, there's what we have now. And similarly, if we go back to this same change sample rate two and go from what it is now, 11.25, up to 96,000, we're going to multiply this number by about eightfold, maybe even a little more than that. And when we do that, it converts it, and now you can see that it's at 96,000. So that will conclude this training video on frequency change. 